morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about voltage to frequency converter. This voltage to frequency converter topic is present in the subject linear integrator circuits. Voltage to frequency converter. The voltage to frequency converter accepts an analog input piece of its in and generates a pulse train with the frequency f. Mathematically, it is expressed as f is equal to k into v suffix in, where k is the sensitivity of voltage to frequency converter in hertz per volt. Figure shows the voltage to frequency converter using operational amplifier. In this voltage to frequency converter, the op amp A1 is acting as a comparator. This is the operation amplifier A1. It is acting as a comparator. While the operation amplifier A2 is acting as an integrator. This is operation amplifier A2. When output of the op amp A1 V01 is negative, the diode D that is connected to A1 is forward biased and the capacitor C starts charging. The charging current for the capacitor C is minus V01 by RT and as RT is very very less than R, the capacitor C charges very sharply. Thus V02 ramps up till it reaches the threshold voltage of the comparator. Then the output of the pump A1 V01 is becoming positive and the diode D is reverse biased. The voltage V in produces current for the integrator and V02 that is output of a pump 2 ramps down at a rate decided by V in. When it reaches to lower threshold of comparator, V01 becomes negative and cycle repeats. The waveforms are shown in figure B. Here is a representation of the output waveforms. V01 is the waveform obtained from the comparator E1. And V02 is the waveform obtained from the integrator that is op amp A2. These two waveforms V01 and V02 provides the waveforms of voltage to frequency converter. The time T1 is very small compared to T2. Hence, output frequency is decided by T2, that is V in. Hence, it acts as voltage to frequency converter. The frequency of oscillations is given by F is equal to R1 divided by 2R2RC Vsat into V in that is equal to K into V in where Vsat is equal to saturation voltage of a pump. According to the method of conversion, there are two types of voltage to frequency converters. They are first one is white slip multi vibrator VFC. The second one is charge balancing VFC. Wide sweep multi vibrator voltage to frequency converter. This is nothing but the voltage controlled a stable multi vibrator. AD537 is a popular VFC in this type of wide sweep multi vibrator. Here is a representation of the block diagram and the basic connections for AD. 537. The voltage to frequency conversion takes place in two steps. Initially, input voltage is converted to a current drive with the help of op amp and BJT combination. The op amp provides base current to ensure V sub x n is equal to V sub x p and 
current I is equal to V in brands. Then current controlled oscillator CCO produces pulses whose frequency is linearly proportional to the input current. The frequency is given by output frequency F out is equal to I divided by C into 10 volts. Using the expression of I, we get output frequency F out is equal to VI divided by RC into 10 volts. For AD 537, the above linear relationship remains accurate over a dynamic range of at least 4 decades up to full scale current of 1 milliamps and a full scale frequency of 100 kilohertz. On-chip precision voltage reference stabilizes the CCO scale factor. Charge balancing voltage to frequency converter. In the charge balancing technique, a capacitor is supplied with a continuous charge at a rate linearly proportional to the input. Then, the capacitor is discharged and simultaneously Discrete charge pulse is generated with the help of monostable multivibrator. Thus, for each charge discharging cycle, one pulse is generated. The repetition rate of these train of pulses is directly proportional to the input signal as charge rate is linearly proportional to the input signal. Because shows the block diagram of popular VFC32 as charge balancing VFC. Here is the representation of the block diagram of charge balancing VFC. In this block diagram, we have the operation amplifier A1 and comparator 1, and we have a transistor Q1 and one shot. The op amp A1 converts VI to the current I is equal to VA by R, which flows into the inverting input of A1. The value of R is such that I is less than 1 milliamps. Consider switch SW open. So, current I flows into the capacitor C1 and output of A1, that is V01, ramp downwards. As V01 reaches 0 volts, the comparator C1 fires and triggers one shot which closes switch and turns on Q1 for time interval TH1 sent by capacitor C. Here is the representation of the waveforms of charge balancing voltage to frequency converter. The one shot uses internal threshold of 7.5 volts and charging current of 1 milliamps. That is TH is equal to 7.5 volts divided by 1 milliamps into C. When switch is closed, current flows out of inverting input of A1. This causes V01 to ramp upwards by an amount such that delta V01 is equal to 1 milliamps minus I divided by C1. After time TH, the switch SW is opened and V01 ramps down. The output voltage V01 takes time TL to reach 0 volt such that delta V01 is equal to I into TL divided by C1. Then the output frequency F out is equal to 1 divided by TH plus TL. Therefore, the output frequency is equal to Vi divided by Rc into 7.5 volts. 
the output frequency is proportional to the input voltage vi as desired that is we have obtained the voltage to frequency conversion with the help of this circuit charge balancing type thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends thank you